Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? So I'm back with the rest of my color pop. A bit tentative on this haul because I'd seen some mixed reviews. On it. I started off with the Elf um, Halo Glow. This one's in Fair One, and then I did go ahead and use the Color Pop Pretty Fresh. This one is in Thirty Three Cool, so that's what I used there. I also used um, the Pretty Fresh foundation and the concealer, so have both of those on. And then as far as bronzer, uh, since it was more of a purple look, I went ahead and used the Heat Wave by Flower Beauty. This is their Sunrise Bronzer. It has a pink and purple undertones to it. It's really pretty. And um, then as far as the actual blush, what I went ahead and did was the Just Cruising. Whoa! Yeah! Just jumping around there. Um, this one, the ColourPop blushes that you can get at Ulta, Target, or on the ColourPop website. And so that's what I used on the back of the cheek. And then on the front of the cheek, I went ahead and used Flamingo. Again, another ColourPop blush. Really pretty. And I wanted to give it just, you know, a little bit of a pink pop there. And uh, then I went ahead and used the Catrice uh, highlighter as far as my highlighter. And um, this one in Supreme Rose Beam. And um, used the regulars, the uh, NYX Thick It Stick It in Cool Ash Brown. And the Mile High, or Mile High, I keep on calling this Mile High, Sky High Mascara in Cosmic Black. So that's what I have on there. As far as the actual palette itself, I was a little bit concerned because I saw some mixed reviews on this one. The Lavish palette. And so this is what it looks like. Um, once I started using them, I think they have a lot of pigment. Um, I went ahead and put this one right under the brow. And then I put this one on the inner corner and right on the... Um, yeah, right on the inner corner and right at the starting of the um, eyeliner area there. And um, let's see, um, I used this on the lid and then I put this one uh, right on the outer corner. And um, I did go ahead and use this one as my eyeliner. And then what I did go ahead and add in, and again, I found that these had a lot of pigment, which was what I was really concerned about. Um, but I went ahead and took the, uh, yeah, I think it's, yeah, it's this one. So the Supernova, and this is the one of the multi-chromes, and I got mine in the same package with this. And so this is Supernova. It's actually a red purple where everything in the lavish palette is a blue purple so yeah see everything here there's nothing really there's nothing that looks like this right so um i went ahead and put that as eyeliner well over the whole lid so um yeah so that on as well and i think it is working it's a really really dark color and so it goes uh purple to pink that's the flip and so i am seeing the pink here and then the purple over on the sides here this way that the look turned out as far as what i went ahead and used um on the lips this is toot dodo is the name of it and I got it on the Tim New website and it's supposed to be a uh, velvety lipstick so it definitely has that smudged kind of look to it and yeah it's pretty it's um, also very comfortable it is a matte but it's a very comfortable matte so um, yeah these are fun as well and um, let's see again really I I think these have a lot of pigment and it's really pretty uh, just uh, purple spaced in blue and uh, this uh, this formula right here is a little bit um, kind of feels almost crunchy but uh, once you get it on the eyes or I put it right below the brow and once I get it on you don't feel that anymore but it is kind of like wow what um, but again really pretty palette and um, 
I'm actually liking this multicrum a lot better now that I have it on here because I think it's actually working. The first time I wore it, I could only see, I couldn't really see the flip at all. And so now I can see the flip and I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. So, um, yeah, um, definitely if you're in the market for uh, purples based on blue and this kind of a palette, I I think it's a good palette. So um, this is uh, the review. I thought I might go ahead and add some of this in and see how, what it looks like with it. Um, this is a L'Oreal 302 and this is the Infallible Paints, the Metallics. So let's see what that looks like with this. So I've read purple here too. I take this back. This may not, not be a metallic. Infallible paints. No, it's not a metallic. But it is shade 302. So that's what that one looks like. Yeah, I kind of like it. Kind of, you know, brings it together. So yeah kind of fun. So uh, that's the look. Um, like I said, I was kind of like, Ding, maybe on some of my purchases, but uh, putting them all together, I think that they actually work and they're fun. And it's a dark look, but it's a very pretty orchid, orchid kind of uh, mixture purples kind of looks. So, um, that's a video and uh, thank you and have a great day. Bye.